We're going snow camping. First ones of the year in this spot. Yeah, so I think the idea is uh, we're gonna drive over this here berm, right over that bag of poo, and go off to the left down there and camp out where it's dry. Man. You're not gonna clear that. <laughs> he's through. Yeah, he's Woo! So what are you setting up here? This is my uh, truck house tent. Truck life. house tent. <laughs> truck, truck tent house life. It's a truck camper and it's awesome. It's pretty simple. Look at that. Oh, look, it's all set up. It's all set up. Just when you convinced me that you weren't a gypsy. <laughs> <laughs> she had some kind of wooden door. <laughs> I should play Oregon Trail tonight in your tailgate. I know, it's very much one of those kind of, uh, it looks like a wagon. Who makes the tent? Kodiak Canvas. Oh, Kodiak makes it. Yeah. Yeah, nice. it's silicone treated. Yeah, I mean, they make good, like, full-size wall tents. So, yeah, this you know? stuff, like, this thing completely got covered in snow, and I just ran the heater on the inside, and nothing, uh, no water got on it nice. at all. Like, it just ran right on. But I mean, you know, me, Cody, and yeah. me, we're all Cody. Nice. It's pretty nice. Which is nice. Where'd you get it at? Uh, they sell them at Cabela's and huh. Sportsman's Warehouse, but I actually got this one off Facebook for sale for like 200 bucks. And it was brand new, the guy had only used it once. Just cool because you can camp like right on the side of the road, not have to find, you know, you don't have to find a spot on the ground or. You want to get that in a little hole for me? That's a big axe you got there, buddy. Like that? <laughs> Get the size of the axe, that's how you swing it. What do you like? Stick it in, and then they flip it over. Backwards. It yeah. work, works really well. Huh. Never actually done that way before. Why would you do that way? I don't know. You let the weight of the log do the work. Yeah. Yeah. You're gonna it works pretty, yeah. Yeah, yeah not your house. <laughs> <laughs> that you brought a pizza. Max's mobile fire station. Well, I figured I'd get it so going. On the ground and put that on it? And then I would, yeah, you take a bunch and set it on top and then set that yeah. on there and you're good to go, right? I've been wanting to make birch charcoal. Hey, 
came out so nice when I seasoned it. I've gotten really good at seasoning stuff. Seasoned cast iron. Could use a few more rounds, but. <laughs> All right, well. So what are we making? Camp pizza. Camp pizza? Yeah, camp pizza. So we got, we got cheese. We got pepperoni. We got the dough balls because yeah, I'm lazy. From a very special place. Yeah, the Bears. That's like too. the best pizza in Alaska. Literally, uh, I think they have some like record, don't they? They're like the, the highest grossing in the Northwest or yep. something. Yep. Then we got some sauce because you got to have the sauce. Parchment paper too. because uh, I just want to make sure that it's going to come out easy. And I think we yep. can use the parchment to essentially lift the pizza out of yep. the Dutch oven. Yep. I've never done this before, so. This is a... Sounds like this is going to go great. <laughs> yeah, you going to hold that in? A little extra. I learned this trick with parchment paper because it always wants to roll up. It's really annoying. Did you go like this first? Yeah. Pretty cool. And it doesn't do it anymore. I'm going to start tossing a dough ball. When the moon hits your <laughs> eye, <laughs> bro. What? Oh no! Yeah. Uh. Yep. Stick the mechanic. Right. Yeah, yeah. I was pushing my luck. It's, it's, it's good. It's clean. Five second roll. Yeah, not when there's gravel in it. <laughs> you get one of those weird ones. <laughs> oh man! <laughs> I think we're about there. Oh, hold that down. Then we're gonna sauce it up. No marinara. I mean, this is gourmet. We are right now. Gourmet. What does it cost to get that from a... Uh, ball, like the small dough balls, I think, are like $3, and the medium okay. is $4, and the large is like 5 They're so nice. cheap, it's stupid. I like sauce all the way. I don't really like much crust. I don't know about you, but... Yeah, I'm all about the sauce. Yeah. You would carry a utility knife. I <laughs> freaking <laughs> love this thing. You know why I love it? It has this button that gives you the ability to do this. It's like <clears throat> no resistance. Huh. So you can, that that's like key. I can close it and open it. Now our uh, bougie, uh, fancy. <laughs> They're really kind of ridiculously large slices of pepperoni Super. for this tiny little pizza, but I think it's gonna be bomb. Whoa! <laughs> shrunk the glass. Shrunk my gloves. Too hot. Quick. Oh yeah, it, like shrunk them. Yeah, why don't you uh, <laughs> not do that? I've got a uh... take two <laughs> without burning ourselves. So you saw this in a movie, huh? No, no. I actually thought this up on my own. All right, but you haven't done this. Nope. Okay, perfect. But it's gonna work. I've used Dutch ovens before. I, mean, it, I I used to be a Boy Scout. I, I, was a, I was a Boy Scout, okay? I have training in this department. What are you setting the time? Yeah, so that way we kind of have an idea of... What's you your know, prediction? 15 minutes? Really? 20 maybe at yeah, the tops? Maybe, yeah. I think 15 to 20 at the tops. It's going to be pretty quick. I mean, it's pretty hot if it melted that glove and so on. I'm going to start a 20 minute timer so we can check right. in on it. All right, so we can smell the pizza. With the 10 minute mark. 10 minutes in. Let's see what it looks like. Super hot. Ooh. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. yeah, look at that bubbly Ooh. goodness. A couple more minutes. It actually does look good. All right, here we go. All right, we smell burning pizza. Oh, yeah. Save it, save it. Oh, oh no. no. I'm going in, I'm going in. <laughs> Ooh. No way, did it burn? I think it's a little bit okay. -ish. Yeah, it's pretty black on the That's bottom. burned as hell. That's all right, we that got another sucks. pizza. We can have a second yeah. try. Yeah, First, we'll, uh, you know. we'll split the burn one and then cook a fresh one. We gotta remove some of the coals from underneath. Yes. Too many coals underneath. Practice makes perfect. Everything was going so well. I can smell it. That Do is it. black. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh well. <laughs> I don't even know how you even toss a peach. Just Here, it. check it out. I'll show you. Yep. All right, so you take like the back of your hands and you put them kind of like next to each other so that you can just kind of, right? Yep. All right, so your hands kind of go like this. But you got to get a little bigger first. Do you have to do it like that, or you just spin the pizza in the air? Well, that's that's definitely like the method, the method that works the best. Yeah, that I've found. That, that looked really awkward when you did that. Well, yeah. good. Yeah, <laughs> that's uh, is that working. That's doing it, man. 
Just mm -hmm. don't drop it in the gravel, okay? Yeah, try not to. Did you wash your hands before you touch that? Piece totally. It's going to land right in your face. Ooh. Oh, oh not again. no! Come I got on, all in. man. All right, I'm done. I'm fired. That's, That's the thing about failure is you just learn how to do how not to do things. You'll never be a winner if you can't take a lose. Yeah, I got it. Don't know what to do. I'll have to make you my uh, smash burgers one time. Aaron's brother makes this. Pretty legit. -y. I would buy one of those. Does he sell them? He sure does. This is... Thanks for the knife, Kyle. Works great for surviving burned pizzas. <laughs> oh, I feel like I'm cleaning someone's boot. Not bad. This is the most delicious good. burnt yeah. pizza I've ever had in my life. I'm not gonna lie. It's really hitting the it spot. It really is good. Well, wow. it's that bear's tooth, moose's tooth dough, man. Yeah. They really kill it. Their dough is so good you can burn it and it still it's tastes still good. good. Yeah. All right, redemption pizza. Oh. Ooh, yeah, look at that. Bubble. Now we're talking. Oh. 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 Well, it's not burned through this time. I think it'll, it'll hold. Let's do the crust, the crust look, shall we? Yep. A little piece of poop. Oh. Yeah. Flip it over. Oh, that's hot. Yep. That oh, perfect. look at that. Perfect. There she goes. And double, double yeah, cut. Yeah, the bite, the bite mm hmm. Mm. You know what's crazy? The burn one was better. You think? Oh, yeah. made by Kodiak. Kodiak Canvas, yeah, out of uh, Kodiak, Alaska, I believe is where they're based out of. Um, you know, this is the silicone treated canvas. Totally waterproof, still breathable, phenomenal material, really performs amazingly, like better than you would ever think. You should have said that like Trump there for a second. What? <laughs> you should have said that like Trump. You almost sound like Trump. <laughs> <laughs> This is the best, phenomenally. Phenomenally. This is the best thing ever. Uh, I, I couldn't even do that, that if I tried. Here. So yeah, this is uh, this is the setup here. It really utilizes the entire truck bed. I built my own bunks for it. I have one that goes on each side. And the one that sits on this side can actually integrate into this one modular and become one giant bed if you want. I didn't bring it because I didn't need it. Pretty sweet setup overall. We got the Chinese diesel heater. I, uh, I'm a little cheap. I'm not like Timmy where uh, I'm not going to go buy a Lobasto to throw in here. Yeah, but, uh, you know, for, uh, you know, 150 bucks, I'll throw a Chinese one in here. They work great. Yeah. 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 Then you get your... Got the exhaust out there. Going. So we got good fresh air. Mm -hmm. We've got our nice little entryway on this. This is like a game changer here. Like being able to just yeah. take your boots yeah. off. Muddy boot storage. Yeah, and not worry about it. That's super nice. The carpet makes it really nice. Uh, come on in, Tim. Have a seat. Got the vent fan. Oh. If you want to have a little, a little extra fresh air, you can kick this guy on, and it's also a kind of a fun little light too. It gives you a nice, nice sunset view outside. Batman's already warm in here from your heater. Oh yeah, it's with good. the door wide open. You know. Absolutely. Just crank it. Yeah, so you can dry gear out. You know, that's the big, the big kicker for me with this one was the ability to dry gear when I'm out snow machining yep. and be out for multiple days yeah, and be able to rack. dry. Yeah, exactly. I can hang all my gear right here, and yep. I can dry it all out just fine. Uh, in a matter of, you know, hours. And or your bed's less. off the ground so you can store food yep. or whatever up under it. And it keeps you warmer. Yep. You know, you're nice and toasty warm. The, you know, if it actually got really cold, I could just point this thing like that and let yep. it blow all the hot air right underneath my bed. Yep. You know, it, uh, it's a fact. Pretty nifty heater too. Yeah. Pick that up off Amazon or something. Uh, yeah, eBay. I think I got it on eBay. Okay. Yeah. But a uh, little suitcase cool. style thing. It's, you see uh, these a lot in the Overland crowd. A lot of people use them for just car camping kind of stuff, you know. Yeah, it, it does work good. I'm going to actually modify it at some point. I'm going to use um, uh, the fuel line connectors for an uh, outboard motor, right? And I'm going to run a fuel line off of here yep. to where I can have an external gas yep, tank. Exactly. Or, sorry, diesel tank. Day. And then I can just plug in a line and plug it in with no, no fuel spillage yep. whatsoever. It'll be nice and clean. I think we figured it out. Perfect. Me and Cody did um, this thing running on high Love all it. night is the equivalent of one beer. That's Not what it bad. costs. That makes sense. One yeah. beer. Uh... 
Silvery Comet. Silvery Comet. All right, Let's Silvery Comet it is. This is Max, this is Silvery Comet. Silvery Comet. Uh, don't try this at home. You're not supposed to hold on to these. Are you? Don't try this in your home? I mean, definitely not in your home. Are you pointing that in the right direction? I hope so. <laughs> don't point at me. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, I love cheap fireworks. Whoa! Whoa! Jesus Christ! Woo! <laughs> it's just a Roman candle. Woo! Holy! That's a Roman candle? Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> yeah. There's only supposed to be five rounds. Are you sure? Yeah. And keep pointing that sucker. That's it. Man, that's not a Roman candle war you'd want to have with each other. No! I told you they're serious Roman candles. Oh, sweet. Heck yeah. Hey, the Northern Lights are out. Check this out. Northern Lights and some fireworks. So this is freaking crazy. So this morning, it was like 5.30 or 6 in the morning. I was sleeping and I felt the camper shake and we're supposed to have a friend driving by on the highway right out here. And I thought it was my friend messing with me, trying to get in the camper and all that. And I just ignored him. I just didn't wanna, you know, I was sleeping. And all of a sudden I heard Max yelling outside, like, hey man, what are you doing? Get off there. Like just, just screaming at him and like threatening the guy. And uh, the guy was crazy. He had freaking socks on. He had no shoes, looked all messed up. And the dude was trying to break into this camper while I was sleeping in it. And I mean, we're out in the middle of nowhere. Like he, I have no idea where he walked from, you know? Like, I have no idea at all. And uh, turns out he had broken into Max's truck. He was sitting in the front seat. The front seat's all soaked. There's blood all over the floor. He started opening up Max's chips and stuff and eating his chips and then he climbed in the porch and was trying to get in here so uh anyway max and i kicked him out of here and he walked up to the road and was trying to break into a school bus there's a school bus going to pick kids up right up there on the highway and the school bus is chilling right up there and dude was trying to break in so the school bus guy called the cops and so this is crazy some guy tried to break into my camper and uh the cops are here now, obviously, and the cops just grabbed them. So, crazy way to wake up. It's exactly why I keep a shotgun in here. I was, thought I was gonna have to use the butt of the gun to hit him in the face or something if you get all crazy, but uh, anyway, let's cook some breakfast. Check this out, I'm gonna go mess with Max. Make those noises that guy was making. Yeah, right. <laughs> Got him good. <laughs> oh man, I'm cooking breakfast, just letting you know. I got him good. That's what that dude was doing. He's just like moaning and just like trying to break in stuff. So today I'm really excited. I look forward to this trip all year pretty much. And we're gonna freaking try to make it to the highest mountain in the Talkeetnas. Can't tell you exactly how we're getting there. But uh, I'm stoked. This place is just near and dear to my heart. Absolutely love it.
Yeah, Max, what do you think about that guy trying to break into your, uh, or he did break into your truck? He like chewed on pork rinds and slipped them in my truck. What do you do? Yeah, there's like chewed up pork rinds in here. <laughs> Eat your pork rinds. Look at the blood. It's like blood on the floor. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> that would happen to you the one time you get to go camping. Jeez, dude. Camping with Timmy. Breakfast chips. Carriage dragons. Oh, yeah. Fine. Oh, we're just getting started. Here we go. 